Good morning, Endeavor, and a special good morning to you today, Drew. Hey, good morning, Shannon. Good morning, Houston. Uh, good morning to my beautiful family, and uh, thanks for that uh, fantastic song by the uh, great Canadian rock band, The Tragically Hip. Great friends of ours, and uh, I'm happy that my wife and kids were able to share that with me. A focused inspection of uh, Endeavor's thermal protection system tiles on the underside of the vehicle uh, is required for the flight. Uh, uh, there's one uh, tile that uh, they couldn't get a good enough uh, resolution on in terms of the overall dimensions and the depth primarily of that uh, damage tile area and uh, thus a requirement for focused inspection uh, just to look at that one tile. And this is the uh, view of the damage area that uh, the tile that uh, crosses essentially over a couple of tiles. This area is uh, between the right main landing gear door and the external tank door on the starboard side or the right side. And they'll tell if there's anything we need to do about it. It doesn't look so bad though. Okay, Spank. Uh, I'm ready, box. Do not close IDC software. Minimized. Select scan low res. Scan low res. Resize and position AD box is required. We did. Okay. Check MCC for the field of view. Yeah, we did. Okay. Select scan high res. High res. I guess that's okay to do as opposed to. If scanning with no RMS motion, that's the case. Select stop scan after 30 seconds. Okay. We'll call it at 4010. Sounds good. And so at 40.40, I will hit stop scan. Dear astronauts, I'm very happy to have this extraordinary opportunity to converse with you during your mission. I'm especially grateful to be able to speak to so many of you as both crews are present on the space situation of this time. From the space situation, you have a very different view of the Earth. You fly over different continents and nations several times a day. I think it must be obvious to you how we all live together on one Earth, and how absurd it is that we fight and kill each one. I know that Mark Kelly's wife was a victim of a serious attack, and I hope her health continues to improve. When you are contemplating the Earth from up there, so you ever wonder about the way nations and people live together down here, about how science can contribute to the cause of peace, well, thank you for uh, uh, the kind words, Your Holiness, and thank you for mentioning my wife, Gabby. Um, it's a very good question. We, we, we fly over most of the world and you don't see borders, uh, but at the same time we realize that, that people fight with each other and there's a lot of violence in this world, and it's really an unfortunate thing. Usually, uh, you know, people fight over many different things. As we're seeing in the Middle East right now, it's somewhat for democracy in certain areas, but usually people fight for resources. Uh, and it's interesting in space, uh, you know, on, on Earth, uh, often people fight for energy. Uh, in space, we use solar power and we have fuel cells on the space shuttle, but it's it, on the space station, it, it's, um, you know, the science and the technology that we put into the space station to develop a solar power capability gives us pretty much unlimited amount of energy. And if those technologies could be adapted more on Earth, we could possibly reduce some of that violence. I'm going to take you on a little tour of the whole assembled st stack here with the, sp with the space shuttle attached to the space station. It's an amazingly massive complex. And uh, let's take a little ride and uh, look at the whole thing. So here we are in the flight deck of the shuttle. And through our hatch. Turn the corner into the PMA. Coming into the space station here, into Node 2. We, uh, we might have missed a call, but we were wanting to make sure that uh, you guys... Hey, Roberto. Before we changed out the uh, yeah, in this direction the is the gym storage area. All right, back out of the gym. You can see Columbus over there. 
all these bags, extra bags you see, because we're transferring things back and forth uh, to the station, cargo, and uh, some experiments coming back. And here we are in Node 2, and there's Box. Hey, Box. Hey. There's Katie. Hey. hey, Katie. And we're going through the lab. There's Dima. Hi. Hey, Dima. Hello. Tess, that there's was Mark. the camera that was here, right? Yeah. There's Mark. And Paolo. Hey. Woo. Turn this corner and we're into node three. This is unbelievable. And this is 360 degree view. There's a, there's a Soyuz and a Progress right there. There's the cargo bay of the shuttle. SPDM. There's the tail of the orbiter. And on the other side, the airlock where we're setting up for Spanky and Drew to do EVA number two tomorrow. Hey, Spanky. Number two. Hey, welcome. EVA number two. Number two. Hey, look, this is uh, my suit. Awesome. I have no stripes, and so that's how you'll be able to differentiate me from Dr. Foistel's suit right here, which has red stripes, if you look that's on the, the legs. That's the stripes of the master. That's right. <laughs> okay. All right. Now we're heading into PMA-1, into the Russian segment. And down here is a new uh, Russian module, research module, MRM. And all the way at the other end of that is another docking compartment equivalent module. It's a bit noisier in here. And if you go through this Actually, this is the bayo, the living compartment of the uh, Soyuz. Now you're looking into the SA, the descent module of the Soyuz. No docking compartment here. This is the bayo, living compartment of the Soyuz. is turning around. All right, now that's the service module. There's upside up. And here we have the docking compartment where the Russian airlock basically. And inside there is another bay living compartment of the Soyuz. We have another docking compartment from spacesuits and air or lawn suits. And another Soyuz living compartment back in there. Purpose module. With beautiful windows here looking down at the earth. There's Soyuz right there. Hello. Hello. How are you? Very good. Watch out, that's a urine container. Woo. All right. This is the commander's compartment. And this is the way to the ATV. great transport vehicle with a lot of volume. Very easy to work in here. Now we're all the way at the far end of the stack. 